kids. Um, today, today's story could be any day's story. Well, today, if you're watching it, it's today's story. This is called The Zabba Jabba Jungle by William Steig. Zabba Jabba. Can you say that? Zabba Jabba Jungle. Okay, kind of fun to say by William Steig. I like his stories a lot. Leonard, this looks like Leonard. Leonard is slashing at the vines and creepers with his sharp bolo. He is fighting his way into the Zabba Jabba jungle, where it is said no human being has ever penetrated. Why is he there? He himself does not know. He just has to push on. First page and it already sounds like a mystery. Hmm. One more whack. Whoa, look at look at all of that. Whoa. Wow. One more whack and he breaks through. Squawking birds and raucous insects fly about. Some sit in trees staring. A hungry plant gropes for him, but he jumps away. He better keep a grip on his bolo. I think Bolo is the knife he's carrying. Looks kind of like a machete. That's another kind of long knife like that for slashing vines. What's this? A butterfly in the jaws of a flower? Leonard strikes again and again until it lets go and the butterfly takes off. <gasps> Steaming rain falls. Leonard walks faster. What now? The gaping mouth of a petrified monster. I was going to say, don't go in there, Leonard, but you know what? He stepped inside. He steps inside, crawls through the gullet, and enters the belly. Behold, there is a strange writing on the wall. Leonard explores the intestines where prickly creatures scurry, brushing against his legs. At last he sees daylight and enters through the great cloaca. I wonder if a cloaca is a body part. Mm. Now the jungle is dim and hushed. It's getting late and all that green is making him sleepy. He rigs up his hammock and he falls into it. Night comes, and he has doubts about the dark. Who's out there? When he flashes on his light, all he sees is what he saw before, the vegetable universe. He stretches out again, and then Leonard and his light go off together. Night, night, Leonard. When he wakes up, bleh, but when he wakes up, the ground is covered with writhing, hissing mesh of snakes. Leonard wishes he was home in his own bed. Ooh. But look, it's the big butterfly hovering by the hammock. His mount is, he mounts its furry back and is lifted away. The butterfly carries him off to a glade of flowers and flutters off. That was nice. He saved the butterfly, and the butterfly came back to save him. There's bird song and a voice call, called, Oh, human being! Who's that, he asks. Oh, I'm Flora. I'm Leonard, says Leonard. Come out, let me see you. I can't, I'm too shy. But listen, Leonard, those yellow flowers over there are full of delectable nectar. Just help yourself. Thank you, said Leonard. My pleasure, says Flora. Farewell. Leonard gets a glimpse of an ungainly bird hopping off through the trees. Do you see it? I think this is the bird that was talking to him. He climbs into the bowl of a yellow flower and tastes the nectar. 
How strange! Somehow he always knew that this special sweetness existed. But what on earth? The flower is suddenly rising. He'd better jump now. Is this the last of Leonard? Nope, his fall is broken by the ferns below. A bunch of mandrels with blue behinds is waiting down below. They drag him off. They come to a deep hole in the ground, toss him in and leave Leonard and leave. They toss him in and leave. Leonard keeps trying to hack out steps with his bolo, but no use. During the night, the mandrels return and let down a rope ladder. Leonard scrambles up right into their arms. They bring him before three judges. One with a bird head, one with a rat head, and one with the head of a snake. Person asks bird head, what are you doing in the Zabba Jabba jungle? I don't really know. Who told you you could drink the nectar of the Jabba Zabba flower? Asks rat head. A funny looking bird. Aha, that's impos that impossible flora, says snake head. It so happens it's against the law to even take a sip of Jabba Zabba nectar. Who do you think you are? Leonard, cries a voice from the bushes. Show them who you are. Do your stuff. <coughs> Oops. Leonard takes some fireworks out of his knapsack and sets off an awesome display. His captors are transfixed. I can't imagine what it would be like to see fireworks in the jungle. Hmm. Flora leaps out. Hurry, Leonard, this way. They hasten down a secret path. At the end of it, she says, farewell, brave boy, farewell. <laughs> Leonard clambers over some rocks and is surprised to see an enormous bottle with his parents inside. He taps on the glass, but they don't look up. He bangs with his bolo, but they still don't hear him. He finds a rock and smashes a hole in the bottle. And now they see him. They rush out with embraces and kisses for their beloved son. Leonard is pleased. Where are we, his father asks. In the Zabba Jabba jungle. How do we get out? Follow me, says Leonard. That's the end. Well, that was a most peculiar story, I think. Did you like it? I guess I liked it. That's just kind of different. I think I don't want to go to the Zabba Jabba jungle. Do you? <laughs>